Oh! Oh! Oh no! Oh no! Oh. oh come on, let's turn up Jason a little bit, it's too good. The floor is cold. Maybe I shouldn't have come here at all. A pair of extremely dirty sneakers enter my field of view. You gonna get up, Shades? Damn. I give up. Have some pity coins. They killed me and all I got was ten fucking dollars. I don't even know anymore. I give up. <sighs> huh? Damn. Bonk! Some pity coins. <laughs> Boink! I'm doing circles around you. Oh man. That hurts. How long was I out? I'm laying down on something soft. Where am I? My vision clears and I sit up from the plastic bed. Sure is bright in here. Oh shit! My shades! They broke them! Luckily... Luckily... Luckily, boys. I brought my reserve pair. That is horrible. That's terrible. That is the worst thing I've seen in any game I've played. I'm not exaggerating at all. It's his pres prescription sunglasses. Much better. I stand from the rubber mattress, taking in the tiny room, finally. All alone. Not even a school nurse or anything? Oh, there she is. Looks like she's attending to another student who has his snoot stuck in a cone. Sorry, it was snout. You can forgive me on that one. Huh. Looking at the clock on the wall, it's already noon. That would explain the pounding headache. Finally awake. Finally awake, Shades! I sit ramrod straight, the fear of God stricken into me once more. Calm yourself, cadet. You ate dirt pretty hard back there. Oh, man. Yeah. Wait. You did that. I did. Pelted you right in the back. Do you know why? Because I messed up? Be more specific, kid. Because I couldn't be a good teammate and I got hit in the face? Bam! Wrong! It was after that. I don't... Nothing happened after that. No! Nope. You gave up! But I was doing well, so you incapacitated me? You think so? I was blocking the balls and all. You weren't blocking anything, you were showing off. You found a single thing you could do, and you started dancing around like a clown. You focused on the easy thing, and gave up on the real thing. You were so focused, you forgot to look around for a moment. And here you are. I know a defeated man when I see one, and there's no way in hell I'm letting a student of mine give up so easily. It's the first period of the first day, and you're already given up. Either way, that's a pretty bad lump you ended up with. You gotta watch around some students, if you know what I mean. I blink a few times and recall the chick that yelled at me to catch. A chick? A big girl? Is that who just pelted me in the fucking face? Oh no. Huh? That one, she's a. Uh, Give me that hat. The hat that. Give me your hat! What a bunch of weedles! Give me your hat! Give me that hat. <laughs> that one, she's a. Uh, he chuckles to himself a bit. She's something, all right. Smile. Yeah, looked like the devil herself. Anyways, take the rest of the day off, kid. What? I'm telling you to go home! The principal gave the okay. I feel my head again. Another stab of pain. Am I really not good to go back to class? Wasn't I getting lectured about this just a few moments ago? Well, I don't want to give up so easy. Nah, you should go home to your folks. He scratches the back of his head, slightly embarrassed. Ah, uh, right. About that. We tried calling them earlier. Couldn't reach them. Okay, 
I'll ask this, you don't have to answer. Maybe the better answer is, find out. But, what's with Inko's parents? Couldn't reach him! I give a sad, half-smile. Yeah, sounds about right. I can make it home fine on my own. Find out, okay. He nods. When you get back, don't give up so easily. He holds the door to the nurse's office open. I nod and exit the office. Coach Solly closes the door behind us. What's Solly short for? Coach Sahelanthropus? Oh, and here's for tomorrow. A brown paper bag is shoved into my arms along with my backpack. Peeking in, I see something blue and gold wrapped in plastic. If you hadn't been late, you could have changed into those. Gym clothes. I, uh, thank you, sir. Next time, Shades, think faster. Got it? Better call Solly. Yes, sir. His smile is positively unnerving. Now scram, cadet! Wani takes place three years after Snoot. Oh my god, I hope we get to meet Anon. Well, this is officially the worst first day I've ever had. As my feet drag along the, lin the linoleum floor, I can't help but painfully think of all the failures of the past few hours. No thanks to a very prominent bump on the back of my head. Ow. I'm worse than everyone here both on a creative and physical level. I know I really shouldn't be bothered by it, but I hate seeing just how far behind I am compared to everyone else. And I thought I'd make new friends. What was I thinking? <laughs> I stop and shake my head a bit. What the heck am I doing skulking like this? <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> a foghorn. Open that work folder in your documents. Yeah, we'll, we'll take a good look at that. Look at all my furry porn. How about that? It's a bad first day, but it's just the first day. There's still all the rest. I still met Ben and Damien. They're pretty cool. I'm not gonna let my optimism be ruined because of a bad dodgeball match. Don't call me Vouch! Holy shit! Just you wait, St. Hammond. Today was a test run. Tomorrow's the real deal. Did you shave your eyebrows? We'll find out. Morning comes. I've always had a decent internal clock, but it's just a new record for me to get accustomed to a new sleeping schedule in just one day. Especially with this fully grown lump in my scalp. I'll- I'll tell you right now, this is a way better high school living room- Not living room, but bedroom than I ever grew up in. This kicks the shit out of mine. What about you? High class? Okay. Habibi said the same shit. This blows my living situation at 18 out the water. I had a CRT TV. I had a Wii. I was watching oh. Netflix on my fucking Wii- Get that gator pussy now. Get that gator pussy now? You need to wait four hours straight, dude. This is upper class? You're probably right. I move an arm from my sheets and I feel my head. Yeah, that's bruised real good. Something's up with, uh, Inko, by the way. These throw uh, pillows? You better get gator pussy now, I, or I'm done donating. Just like you said first time, I swear I will. His TV- Yeah, the mounted speakers! Rich motherfucker. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's Bruce real good. Could be worse, though. Alright, time to get up. Okay, chat interaction time. Did you guys have a rich friend? Back in high school, middle school, whatever. Describe their bedroom. I want to know it, because my rich friend in middle school, he had like a rocker gamer seat, like something you could rock on on the floor. But it also had a speaker that was hooked up through Bluetooth. This is insane at the time. This was like 2010. Bluetooth. It was hooked up to his plasma screen, and we could hear Black Ops blasting through the chair. That was the craziest shit I could ever conceive of. We're all poor. <laughs> I slump out of bed and yawn, stretching my arms and cracking my spine a bit. My new room is pretty nice. Quite spacious, even with all the still sealed boxes. I brush my hand over one of them. The one with my other clothes. I'll get around to opening it, opening it at some point. Right now, though, 
It's time for breakfast. You going to bed, Habibi? Oh, MC Ride is. Right now, though, it's time for breakfast. I shuffle downstairs into the heart of the house. Yo, look at the, uh, look at the Kroger brand cleaner over there. Damn. You know what's fucked? I knew a lot of really rich people in my childhood. Never thought to get free shit from them. Damn! The morning sunbeams shining through the window draw my eyes to look out to the new neighborhood. The driveway is empty. Yarn says, uh, her rich friend's house, they had a movie theater installed. I played Left 4 Dead 2 for the first time at another rich friend's house in their personal movie theater. It's all I think about when I play Left 4 Dead 2. We're boofering? The driveway is empty. Looks like my parents are already gone for the day. No surprise there, really. Yeah, close OBS. Chrome 20. I have three tabs open. No surprise there, really. It's all they ever focus on. Hate my parents. Ooh, I hate high school. A shiver runs up my spine as my feet step on the icy tiles of the kitchen. My eyes are drawn to some taped up boxes that are still scattered about on the counters. No fresh produce to be seen, but there's still the mostly full box of breakfast burritos. Yeah, I've been trying to appreciate ethnic cultures more. You know me. Just trying to appreciate ethnic cultures. Plate loaded with a couple of the minuscule flour wrapped meals, I set the microwave and wait for burritos to hopefully not explode or burn inside. While I wait though, I check my phone. I scan over my newsfeed and check out some of the people I'm subscribed to, hoping there's something to watch during my meal. Unfortunately, nobody posts videos or streams this early in the morning. Guess I'll just watch the suggested video then. 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 <laughs> I prop my phone up and click on something random. At the ding of the microwave, I retrieve my breakfast, carrying it carefully, so I don't burn my hands on the bottom of the plate. I give the first burrito a test bite and... Ugh, the inside's still cool. Microwave breakfast burritos are foul, says PB. I don't want to stick it back in, though. The tortilla would just become a brick. I shrug it off, continue chewing, and watch my phone. <laughs> <laughs> Top of the morning, folks! By the time the video ends, I've finished the last of the half-thawed burritos. Pocketing my phone, I slip the plate into the sink and head out for the day. It's worth mentioning that Inko slips the shades on immediately, waking up first thing in the morning. This dude is wearing shades. This time, I'm at least getting through the day. Top of the morning to you, laddies! Today, survival. Tomorrow, thrival. Dot, dot, dot. I'll work on it. Sandwich or cereal? Top of the morning, laddies! My name is Acceptance Jackson! Who's the gay Irish guy who made the video about, um... Who's that Irish guy that made it? It was like, this... Oh, oh, it's just, you know, there's a bunch of big throbbing cocks in the game, but you need to play it in, you know? It's you, says Thoth. You're the gay Irish guy. Me? You say that right to my face? No way. You're not tough enough. On the metro again. I take a little more time to check out my surroundings. That was Lemmy? <laughs> you bald wee shite. The sun shines through the windows across from my normal seat. Chris O'Neill. There's this one chick that was there yesterday, probably on her way to work. It's probably set- it's probably a set routine for her at this point. She always does a bit of makeup first and then checks her phone the rest of the way. When the sun shines through the window, it highlights her hair in a really neat way. He's scoping out the people on the train. Like a movie poster, almost. Oh! I'd take a picture, but it might be a little, uh, a little too awkward for me. Also, everything's disappeared. Why is it so dark? Uh, um... How's St. Hammond treating you so far, Mr. Nito? A voice so deep I feel it reverberate in my bones calls from above. Jesus Christ. I'm taken aback at his authoritative stra uh, stature. His head is nearly grazing the top of the passenger car. 
I'm getting mogged in my own train car. How did he even get here? How did he even get in here? Oh, I, uh, it's been great so far, Mr. Ferris. He offers out his hand for a handshake. Though his palm alone smothers my entire hand. How do you know my name? You're clearly going to school. The nearest one is St. Hammond, and I'm already aware of a new human student, if you don't mind my profiling. Whoa. You got all that just from looking at me? I'm partially joking. Your full name is printed on your backpack. That better not be true. Did this freak show up with his full name? Senior year of high school printed on his backpack? Nerd! You know that's dangerous, right? Oops. Yep. That's me, alright. You're probably wondering how I got here. Inko seems very sheltered so far. I agree. But please! I know it's only been a few days since the year started, but I'd like to hear your opinion so far. Is this a questionnaire or something? Not exactly, but it is of some importance to an assignment of mine. What does that mean? Oh, what am I being secretive for? I'm here to audit your school. See the teachers, know the students. Make sure it's a proper place of learning. I wish it were something worth being secretive about. More often than not, it's just paperwork and office politics. Oh, all right then. My thoughts on the school so far. I considered telling him about a teacher nailing me with a dodgeball to make a point. Glowy detective? Nah, I'm over it. Well, the classes that I have are great, and the teachers I have are a dynamic bunch. Get well soon, Robo. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Scout. He thumbs the inside of his coat pocket for his pen, but decides he doesn't need it yet. I see. Any favorites? I mean, I don't like to have favorites, but all the staff seem pretty lively. Ferris lets out a heavy, rumbling chuckle. That's certainly good to hear. A teacher nailed me. <laughs> and what of your fellow students? Made any friends? There was one pink guy that called me a- It's been a bit of a struggle, but it's always been that way for me since my folks move around a lot. I think I'm doing pretty good this time around. Why do you think that is? I think... It's the jacket. The jacket? I give my lapel a quick tug for extra style points. Ooh! Ooh! Kill him! Ooh! Ooh! Kill him! The Coastline Cotton Nylon Bomber number 32. He's... I'm dialing it in right now. You ready? Anon was fit. Maybe he was posting on fit. He was definitely posting on TV nonstop. I think Inko posted on F.A. on fa on fashion, the fashion board. Absolutely. Non-stop, right? I see. Does he need to lean so close to inspect it? If the carriage rocks in any way, he'd probably turn me into a piece of modern art against the window. Inko totally muse. And that's really what the youth are into these days. Hey, the results speak for themselves. It's because you're a skinny! Hmm. Whatever he's thinking about, it's got nothing to do with his work. I think I have a pretty good idea what it could be, though. Mr. Ferris. <laughs> Come on! Do you got no swag? Huh? Um, well, I guess that probably answers it. I admit to being a little gray. I'm aware I'm not exactly with it anymore. Well, even in the older, even the older generation can dress to impress. You just have to see what people today like to wear. I'm certainly willing to listen to the youth of today, yes. It is somewhat important to my job to know how the student body thinks. And my niece often suggests dressing more relaxed, whatever that means. Does she, uh, does she ever see you in casual clothes? 
I am wearing them now. You got no style, no steez, you got no hair, you got no bitches, you got no money. I can see it. I can see it. Broke dino alert. Broke dino alert. I can save him. Inko posts on fashion and travel. The rest of the trip was quick, but we continue with small talk about trends. When we arrive at my stop, he attempts to give me his business card. Romance the 8-foot Dino Glowy. For someone whose mere presence could stop a fight, he seems like a genuinely nice fellow. I look forward to talking to him again. It's good to see you, by the way, Reddy. Dot, dot, dot. No, oh, great. Oh, God, those burritos were a mistake. Don't shit yourself. My stomach is roiling after the warm-ups. All right, maggots! Today we'll be working on your cardiovascular system! By that, I mean a good old-fashioned mile run! I won everyone out on the track field yesterday! I notice Damien's mouth opens soon as Coach Solly yells the words. And no, Damien! That doesn't mean I want you to time travel! Unless, of course, you mean running so fast that you hit 88 miles an hour! Just as quickly, Damien shuts his mouth again and shoots Solly a thumbs up. All right, maggots, we're going to be talking about dicks and pussy. Butthead, is that funny to you, butthead? We're going to be talking about the dicks. We're going to be talking about the pussies. 